Hello. It's Saturday night. And uh, me and the cheetah were here along with our, our new friend Pumpkinhead. Who's filled up with delicious uh, candy corn. To talk about uh, about our good friend Hobbs Whore. Who had a great Halloween contest in October. Uh, the Hobbs Whore Halloween Spectacular. Um, that happened uh, throughout the month of October. Uh, and he asked us three questions. Because Hobbs loves Halloween so much. Uh, it's his favorite holiday. So he gave us some, some three really good questions, fun questions. And uh, the first thing he asked us was, uh, was who's our favorite screen, or if we had a chance to spend a, some time with the screen queen, who do we spend it with and what would we do? Um, I picked out four. I picked out Monique Parent and Debbie Roshan and Shillen Simmons and the lovely Crystal Lowell. And um, those are the four screen queens I picked. And then the second question he asked us was, if we were going to square off against any horror icon, where would we face off against them? And he gave us uh, uh, choices of uh, a, a wooded trail, a haunted house, a corn maze, or a graveyard. And me and the cheetah, we answered that we take on any of them on, in the graveyard, which would be fitting. Because that's where they would be at after the cheetah killed him. Uh, the third question was concerning his mascot. He had a, he has a really cute mascot. Hangs on his computer, um, and he asks his his name, and the name of his mascot was Killer. Which you can see for yourself when you go over to Hobbs Horse uh, uh, channel and give him a, a subscription. Uh, Hobbs is a tremendous friend to the community and. A, Becoming a really good personal friend too, which is a rarity for me. Uh, so I, I cherish that. So thanks for everything, Hobbs. Thanks for doing the contest. Thanks for the late night talks. You and I both, uh, we battle, we battle insomnia. So I enjoy our late night talks. It makes it a little easier. So um, yeah, uh, really do appreciate your friendship, and you are a, a really good guy and. You really, everybody really needs to subscribe to your channel, and I'm going to make sure, I'm going to do my part to make sure people do that. Um, so anyway, we won the contest, and um, in case you've forgotten, here's Pumpkin. Um, so he sent us a box of goodies, and so we thought I'd crack it open and see what Hobbs sent us, and we thought we'd take you along for the ride. All right, now if I don't mess up the uh, uh, the, the recording of this for the fifth time, we should get through this. All right, let's go. There's the box. And the first thing you'll notice, it comes in a, in, a, in a Halloween bag. The Halloween bag is actually come from Family Video, which, like me, Hobbs is a tremendous fan of. And on his channel, he puts down uh, his family his family video hauls. We recommend that you check them out. Uh, even here, there's a, an appearance, uh, a cameo appearance by the cheetah in one of his videos. So anyway, so this is the bag of goodies that Hobbs sent us, and we thought we'd go over it and share it with you folks. Uh, starting off with a movie called Venom. Um, okay. Uh, this looks to be sort of like a possession movie, which is right in me and the Cheetos wheelhouse, because we do a lot of possession movies. Yeah, I was asking a I was asking another another horror friend, um uh uh, uh about that, and I was going like, why is it that some people could watch slasher movies and uh, get scared shitless when it comes down to supernatural stuff? And we actually had a good laugh about that. Uh, next is The Lazarus Effect. Uh, I don't know anything about this movie. Uh, I know some of the names in it. Um, Donald Glover from Community, uh, Olivia Wilde, Mark Dupless, um, I, I just watched one of his movies, Your Sister's Sister. Uh, that was a really good movie. Uh, don't know anything here. It says, Evil Show Will Rise. Why does that look like Famke Jensen, though? Uh, okay. Next up. Oh. 
The Rocky Horror Picture Show. I love this movie. Who doesn't? You can't you can't be a horror fan and not love the Rocky Horror Picture Show. You just can't. You can't be a fanboy and not. If 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 you really need to see this in a theater with a live crowd. So once this pandemic goes away, hopefully that'll happen. But if you ever get a chance to go to a live uh, to a, a theater and see uh, uh, see this on the big screen, you really sh you really owe it to yourself to do so. It's awesome. I love the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's a lot of fun. Wow, this is a, this is great. I I didn't have it. I didn't have the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I've seen it, but I haven't I haven't I haven't um I didn't own it. Now, Hobbs likes to put in uh, what he called tricks. He said, "Be watch out for the tricks. So he sent it as uh, parental guidance. Um, well, it's not so much of a trick as you think, because look at it. Uh, it has Marissa Tomei and Bette Midler and uh, Billy Crystal. This looks to be pretty cute. This might be, this might be a, a, a treat after all. Parental guidance. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, next up is Hannah. Uh, with Thoracy Ronan. I don't probably kill her name. Uh, Eric Banya and Kate Blanchett. This is an exciting movie. I saw this at the theater when it came out. Uh, when it came, a long time ago, but it is a it's a great movie. Really, really like it. This is tremendous. This is her first film, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but this is her first film. And uh, she's excellent in it. Or, And then Eric Banya, of course, he's always good. And so is Kate Blanchett. Wow. This is a nice action movie. Okay. Uh, next we have Hellbreeder. I don't know anything about this at all. Wow. Great title. Uh, I don't know who put it out. American World Pictures. Cat and Cage Pictures. Wait a minute. What? Cat and Cage Pictures. Okay. Uh, 